Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up security on a wireless Linksys router. First of all, you want to go in as admin, type your password, whatever that may be. Uh, hopefully you have it set to a strong password, which is more secure, using characters, letters, and symbols. As you will see, I will be showing you how to set up your wireless security. This is the start page when you log into your router. Most routers are 192, 168, 1.1 and a home setup. And we go to, from here, we go to wireless. Now my SSD is Kenwood. As you can see here, security is set to WPA2 personal. Encryption is AES. Passphrase, which I'm going to change, is <laughs> EdgeLock44. Uh, it's configured as manual status right now. Um, what we're going to do now is go into security. Sorry, wireless security, which is right next to basic settings here. You'll see wireless security, wireless Mac filter, advanced wireless settings. We're going to wireless security. That's where we're going to spend our time. You see security mode, which is WPA2 personal. It usually starts out as disabled or as WEP. WEP is known to be weak and easy to crack. So today we're going to use WPA2 Personal. AES encryption because TKIP is an older style designed to work with WEP. It works with WEP encryption or security mode and AES is the stronger of the two so we don't want TKIP. We want to just use AES and WPA2 Personal. Here we're going to set our passphrase. Whatever you want to make it, just like I said earlier, make sure that you use letters, numbers, and symbols. So we will do P at dollar sign dollar sign W zero R D as password instead of using regular password, which you don't want to use the word password in any form obviously, but this is just to show you guys that uh, password can be heavily uh, secured by using symbols, letters, capitals to make it tougher to crack. Key renewal is fine, 3600 seconds. Wireless Mac filter now. If you want to block people from getting onto your, um, your wireless access point, we will set up enabled. What you'll do here is a MAC address. A MAC address is a hardware identifier on every board, device, or piece of hardware that tells it the, man the first three parts tell you the manufacturer. If you look up the first three parts of any MAC address, it will tell you who manufactured it. This last part is the actual identifier or the code that, that tells you what the device is. Now, I don't know my actual MAC address, so I'm not going to get into it here but I just wanted to show you that we can do wireless Mac filtering enable it put in the Mac address of your laptop your tablet your PC and nobody else will be able to get on except for the Mac addresses that are listed here say we put in AE01 C30R01 AE again that's what a MAC address looks like. It's hexadecimal digits. A is up to, oh sorry, we wouldn't have an R there in hexadecimal. A, e, A is 10, E is 14, F is 15. That's how hexadecimal works, 0 through 9, A through F. They count as 10 through 15, the letters. And that's it for today. I just wanted to show you how to set up your, more, your heavily secured um, higher security on your wireless access device. This is just Linksys, by the way. Netgear probably has different setup, which I can show you at a different time, as I only have a Linksys router available right now. And all these other settings are fine. A AP isolation, if you want help, you click on help. That tells you exactly what they are. It isolates wireless and wireless devices on your network from each other. Wireless devices will be able to communicate with the router, but not with each other. To use this function, click enabled. That's so all your wireless clients don't connect or can't see each other. 
you don't want to turn that on if you want to be able to connect to say a home server so that's it for today I wanted to post this because a lot of people always ask how do I set up security on my router and this is how thanks for watching